This is uh, some coverage that I, I think I really need to share because in my position, testing out cars, I love to share how vehicles compare, well, what they're like, but also I like to take a step further than usual uh, journalist outlets, magazines, because they don't quite buy the cars that they test and compare. Um, here on this channel, we, we buy the cars, uh, some of them, and we get to give you long-term tests and feedback. This is an interesting piece of feedback because I, I just didn't see it coming. Let me go back a couple of months. Uh, I'm almost at six months of ownership. So right around six months ago, I was the first uh, customer delivery at the Corvette Museum for the Z06. It was a, a lot of fun. I drove it across the country, something that is like unheard of doing when you have uh, carbon fiber wheels, I think, and Cup 2R. These Cup 2Rs weren't like any Cup 2R. Yes, they're as sticky, if not more sticky than the other competitor Cup 2Rs, but they also have a run flat built into them. I'm saying this because it's going to make sense further in this story when I get along. When I arrived back in California after doing my multiple thousand mile cross country tour. I had to get a tire change ASAP because we got it some nails. I, I couldn't find a dealership that can change out the tires on the Z06 because the liability was so high. No, no Chevy dealer has ever done a tire change with carbon fiber wheels before. It was hard to find a dealership and luckily we found one. Uh, I've learned that the process though is just not in place. At least that's what it seems like because the experience is not quite like a uh, exotic car dealership or the cars this vehicle is trying to compete against. It is a Porsche competitor, it is a Ferrari competitor, a Lamborghini competitor. But then going to the dealership, I, I watched one of the workers drop a carbon wheel on cement. <laughs> Um, then the carbon, uh, the, the tire machine that Chevrolet uses to change out tires on this vehicle, well, uh, it didn't go as planned because the machine that's recommended, the Auto Revolution, through each tire change for each wheel, it kept disintegrating the carbon fiber structure of the wheel on the outside. So the dealer was concerned, they're telling me, uh, Chevy hasn't trained us for this. We're trying to follow their protocol. I actually ended up filming this outro there because uh, I was told that everyone was going to reach out to Chevrolet and we we're going to find out a solution, how this is going to be solved, how I'm going to be made right f for this this damage. And then after that, it was off to the track day at Auto Club Speedway and months and months started going by and I kept trying to find out when is this being taken care of. Time and time just kept passing. The unfortunate part was I had to keep going through tires to share with you guys what this car can do on the racetrack. I only had one place I could go to. For each tire change, the damage kept getting worse and worse and worse. I treat all my cars very, very well with the utmost pride and, and, and care possible. Then when you take it in and every single time the recommended manufacturer equipment is just shredding the carbon fiber wheel every visit by simply putting a cap on the carbon wheel is just getting shredded shredded it shouldn't be like this this car literally has the same wheels if not better than a ford new ford gt and when ford came out the ford gt they had to make their ford dealers if they wanted to work on a ford gt send a technician out to learn and be trained on how to work on a ford gt and all of the equipment was specifically for the ford gt i'm talking in terms of the equipment Right, the whole experience. This is no one's fault in particular. I think this is what happens when a brand new car comes out and really reinvents what a brand is known for. When the Z06 came out and it really crested high into the six figures, they obviously wanted to put on the best equipment possible, such as carbon fiber wheels and a flat plane crank engine, tons of aero. The issue we're finding is that the chain that is established is not, what's the word I'm looking for, ready for this. They don't understand. Would you take a Lamborghini or a Ferrari to a Mazda dealership or a Toyota dealership? You simply wouldn't. Ford realized this with the Ford GT. They created the Ford GT service program where certain dealerships they can invest to build a Ford GT servicing process. A whole part of their facility becomes white glove. I think they should look at this vehicle like a Ford GT or a $200,000 car or mid $100,000 car. Because when you take a Porsche to the Porsche service center, it is a very, different experience. Again, this is not a dig. This is something that I have to report on. 
and it makes a lot of sense when you really consider it. Chevrolet made the best car they could make. It's got this insane set of wheels, all these special one-off characteristics that make exotic car owners want to gravitate towards buying it. I think the problem is is that the cones that they use to uh, torque down the center cap of the, the wheels where they mount onto these machines, since they are being put under pressure, any slight grooves or any imperfect surface on those cones can start to shred the center of these wheels. I don't think there's very much there to protect the, uh, the carbon because as you see here, it started to shred pretty badly. I think in the future, dealerships, all dealerships, should have a secondary cone that connects to the center of these wheels, specifically designed for the Z06, and the only use for them is for the Z06. All that wear of being mounted on dirty truck wheels, or sedan wheels, or Camaro wheels, and then it's being mounted on a pure carbon fiber wheel, I think that's not the way it should be done. That's my opinion. I don't think you would see this at a Ferrari dealer at all because those cones that attach to the wheels when you torque them down for the tire change, they're only being used on Ferraris. All the grime that you'd get off big trucks and other vehicles, it just wouldn't be there. The answer I got from Chevrolet Service is to send these wheels out to be refurbished by another company. This car, I bought these wheels because they're custom made in Australia. I bought state of the art equipment, the Carbon Rev, they do a great job. I, I would never, ever consider sending these wheels off to a random company to be refurbished. For a car like this, taking the shortcut is gonna really leave a very bad taste in the buyer's mouth and just put yourself in my shoes. If you own this car, you're buying it, please be as careful as you possibly can with who touches the wheels. Try to find the number one location that will take on this job and make sure that whoever possibly damages them will take care of it with the liability. We're gonna follow this through and see what happens next. This is the story of my uh, cracked carbon fiber wheels. What happened? This is all based off my experience. I don't wanna mention anyone in particular. I have no interest to. This has nothing to do with that. Purpose of this is to spread the message of how careful you need to be. They need to be prepared for this type of clientele. This is the clientele buying these cars. The standards that they expect will not be the same as an affordable vehicle. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really want to hear your feedback on this process. What do you think it is? Do you think it's just the equipment being used on all sorts of vehicles just causes damage over time? Do you think that any improvements should be made? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and again, please stay with us as, as we move along in this process to figure out what to do. I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.